Hello everybody, welcome back to another fabulous video of Backyard Renovations. And uh, yeah, as you just saw from the title, cleaning out this weed patch. Now, I'm sure at some point, like before I purchased this house and when the previous owners were actually still living here, uh, it probably wasn't quite so much of a weed pit. However... Um, it sat empty for, well, at least since February to July. I don't know when they moved out. And, of course, over the winter time, you know, these weeds weren't growing. But, uh, yeah, moving to spring, and nobody was there to do any kind of tending of anything. So it pretty much just grew and overgrew into this giant mess. And I decided... Nah, I don't want it. I'm gonna just get rid of the whole thing. So, one of the benefits of having a lot of siblings is, uh, you know, you can have extra people help. So, yeah, the people you're seeing moving around, usually siblings. Um, and I say usually because I believe my mom and dad are someplace visible in here as well. But yeah, we just pulled out the brick border around the whole thing again. This is those same bricks that uh, they used everywhere else. There's like kajillions of them. Way too many. And they were forming this border. So the um, landscaping people, I guess, that were coming out to mow the lawn and stuff just completely ignored it. And it grew and grew and kept growing full of more weeds. So what we did is uh, pulled out all those bricks from the border because uh, there was really no point to have this elevated. It it wasn't like a beautiful flower garden. Had it been, I maybe would have thought about keeping it a little more. But I don't know. Um, I kind of like the idea of having a yard I can do stuff in. Which, looking far forward to the future, I want to put pond, put a pond in. And... Uh, some kind of, you know, patio type stuff, which you can't really do when you have this ginormous mess of weeds. Interestingly enough, there was this little piece of magic that, uh, I have no idea why it was sitting in there. The, uh, the wall right behind kind of this area here that has that window on it, there's a flat roof on top of that, and that piece of rubber is some of the rubber from on the roof. I mean, I didn't, like, blow off anything. The rubber on the roof is all still there. But that's just some extra chunk that evidently they didn't need anymore. And so they, you know, just threw it on the ground in this patch of weeds. Because that was the most logical thing they could think of. I don't know. Makes no sense to me. But I digress. Cleaning this stuff out, not exactly the easiest I did a lot of the raking, as you can tell right here, and then uh, one of my younger brothers was going around with the machete, and just chopping stuff, and chopping, and chopping, and then uh, a couple people were using, um, like, the um, the shears and cutters like that to chop this stuff down. It would have been... Easier to clean up with a uh, gas mower. Could have just run over everything. But uh, at this point in time, I did not have a gas mower. Which is why you see somebody pushing... It's my dad. Pushing a... Um, wow, I can't even think. A push mower. Back and forth across the lawn to try to get it mowed down a little bit. Because, yeah, I didn't have a gas mower yet. Fortunately, through some connections... I was able to uh, pick up a nearly brand new unit for like 50 bucks instead of $200. Um, yeah, it's nice having connections, you know? So just lots of cleaning up of weeds and still more bricks. These bricks, if you recall from the beginning of the video, it looked like they formed a wall that was, uh, you know, two blocks high. Yeah, not the case. It was actually three blocks high. And the lowest tier, level, layer of the blocks was pretty much 
buried below ground, as you see me pulling out right here, actually. As I said in a previous video, these blocks must have been on some kind of a killer deal, like buy one pallet, get one pallet free, because they literally used these everywhere in the yard. It just it makes no sense. And there's uh, still more of those little patio blocks, but in order to get them out, uh, I figured it'd be easiest if I just pulled out some of these patio pavers here, which um, I actually ended up pulling out a whole bunch of throughout a large portion of this pad. Uh, I currently am parking on it, so I couldn't pull out too much because the garage needs to be torn down and rebuilt because A, it's really not big enough. And uh, B, it's in pretty bad shape. Like, the roof looks like it's going to start leaking. Siding's busted in a bunch of places. And yeah, it just really not, not a nice garage. So, I'll rebuild that at some point. And when I do, I'll end up ripping out the rest of this patio area. And um, remaking it or something, because I'll actually be parking in my garage. But currently, that's not possible. And yeah, here's more of those retaining wall blocks. Previous owners really loved these things. These were completely buried underground. I don't know if they were originally, or if just from years of not being maintained and stuff, they sunk in. But yeah, lots of them. I literally have like two pallets worth. And then finally, we got to the point where we could start digging some of this dirt down because... It was, um, I'm going to say maybe close to a foot above the rest of the grade, which wasn't really desirable. And up against the house, it, even though this was raised, it was still sloping towards the house, which makes no sense. So we just threw a bunch of dirt from the far end up to the close end up against the house to uh, help um, what's the word I'm looking for to help the water because of course the rain gutters are all messed up on this house too so water kind of just drips over the edges all over the place so by throwing a bunch of dirt up against the foundation we were hoping that the water would flow away instead of toward because uh, obviously having water in your basement is not exactly a good thing and, uh, yeah, it worked out pretty well. So thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.